Now, how many of you have hog hunting on their bucket list? Now, I did until just recently. My wife had been encouraging me to take some time and get away from the office and just relax. Well, what better way to relax than go shoot some feral hogs, right? So my wife is from Oklahoma and it is relatively close to me here in Nebraska. So I started looking at some places to hunt in Oklahoma. And after looking at a lot of places, I settled on No Mercy Hunting Services. Now, now they got a great web page. It's got all the information you could possibly need or want. So I don't want to just simply read it all to you. I'm assuming that most of you watching this can read. So I want to focus on what I saw and experienced. Visuals are worth a thousand words. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention that they offer hunting, not just for hogs, but a whole lot more. As you can see here, um, you will want to look on the webpage for yourself. Now, you're actually going to see a lot of these animals while I'm hog hunting in the video. Now, as far as hog hunting, I came to hunt feral hogs, three actually, two with pistols, a 9mm and a 10mm Springfield XDM and my CMMG MK4 10 millimeter Banshee. Hey, real quick guys, I wanna make a note that No Mercy Hunting gave me special permission to use the guns and the calibers that I did. Those are not, uh, especially the nine, is not something that they allow for hunting larger game. But I got special permissions because I was working on reviews on specific bullet types and ammunition. Anyway, all that information that you would possibly need or want is on the web page. Make sure and check that out. Now, I just wanted to do reviews on each of these, and you can see those individual reviews for the full hunt. Let's check out No Mercy Hunting, and you decide what you think. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, I want to try to keep this as short as possible and to the point. So I want to basically show you the following, the wildlife, the blinds, the lodging, my hunts, and then other activities. So let's just start with the wildlife. Check out all that I observed while I was sitting in a blind hog hunting. Now, I really felt like I was in another country. Okay, so this is where I'm hunting at. Got this nice big open area, and we've got the blind here. And then the blind is overlooking a canyon. You can see over there. So this is where we're gonna camp out and hopefully get a hog. So here's kind of a view of the blind that I'm sitting in. I'll show you out some of the windows here. Got a great view. I like this elevated position. I might have to do a tree stand for some of the other guns that I'm gonna use, like the pistols.
And that was really cool seeing all those animals. You know, it was really enjoyable while I was waiting for Hogzilla. Now check out some of the blinds I came across, and I'm not sure the exact number of blinds, but there was a ton of them, mostly tree stands. Now check out some of the options. Okay, so here's that alley that we we're looking down. So we've got that tree stand there. Uh, it's probably about a 50 yard shot, and then you've got the one that we were looking at. We come over here, you know, and these are kind of set up for bow hunting, but you know, they're anything that's good for bow hunting is good for for rifle or pistol hunting. And with that's, uh, that's probably, where's it? At? Oh, I see it. Bow stand is right there, and that's really close. Now, here's another one of the spots they've got. Got the tree stand up there. We're parked up there got stands like this all over we actually passed one right up there for a little longer shot I'll try to remember to show you all these so you can see all the different places you have there's another one this one's i'm guessing maybe 75 yards okay and then we got a stand way down there how many stands total do you have 18 18 all right so there's no lack of uh availability or options you know just depending on what the weather is and where the sun is and the wind all right so we're here on another spot this is what were you saying this is the this is a turkey deer hog coyote spot this is the free range, this is the free range one of the free range places how many acres we got here we're 800 acres right here wow okay so we got 800 acres here free range this is one of the best turkey plot. This is one of the go-to turkey spots, right? All right. Go check that out. Well, that's got one heck of a view. Okay. There's turkeys right down there. You betcha. Well, up close here, here's the blind. This is the free range. Oh, wow. That is a nice view. You saying that Get a lot of the feral hogs coming out here. Oh, so this is this is where you can sit. Free range. Got a nice little window here. There we go. This be a good place to sit when it's cold out. Okay, so now check out some of the options there are for lodging or the places that you can stay while visiting. So here at No Mercy, this is the apartment lodging. Before I get it all messed up with all my stuff, come in, got a nice little kitchen here, nice countertop, I can put my laptop, actually I brought my computer, gonna put that on there. And then kind of a, a bedroom, living room. We've got the bunk beds. You know, we can sleep four people. Got a TV up there. And it's got a nice little bathroom. You know, it's got everything that we need for a fun hog hunt. Okay, so the apartment's here. And then next to it is the lodge. Let's take a look inside the lodge. Okay, so if you really want to stay in luxury. Wow, that's nice. After a long day hunt, you got a big screen, couches, definitely. Definitely a step up from the apartment. This is gorgeous. So you got our first bedroom here, sleeps four. You got another bedroom there, sleeps another four. And then bathroom for each of the rooms. Nice. Got a third bathroom. Nice big kitchen. 
There you go, guys. If you want to do it in luxury and you want comfort, this is the best option that I've seen thus far. You know, as I was thinking <laughs> how much I'd love to bring my family, uh, I just noticed the speakers up there. Where do we go? Oh, yeah, we got a DVD player under there and the big screen. You know, this would be an awesome experience for a couple of families to go in. Um, with the range and the pond, you know, that gives non-hunters something to do during the day and you really get a kick back and relax in style. Okay, so this is the, what's this? This is the newest one? This is the newest one called the shop. There you go. Long day of hunting. Nice little kitchen. It's nice. Sleeps four. Cozy. I like this. Got everything you need. The lodging was very clean, well kept, and nice. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Now if, you're, now, if your hunt ends early and you got what you came for on day one, you know, no need to cut your vacation short. You know, they have some other activities to keep you entertained. Check these out. Okay, so No Mercy's got a thousand yard range. So if you come out and you go hunting for 20 bucks a day, or 20 bucks. 20 bucks for the entire time you're here. 20 bucks the entire time you've got access to this. It's a nice range, guys. Uh, that's a hell of a deal. If you're going to come out and shoot and hunt and you got some time, start out at 50, 100. To the left is 2, 3, 4, 5 on top of the hill. Drop to your right is 6. And then behind that is seven, eight, nine, and then almost to the tree line is a thousand yards. That's nice. It's not easy to find a thousand yard range. And so if you're coming out and we've got nice solid benches, you've got cover. cover. This is nice. I mean, just a huge bonus. If you come, I'd highly recommend thinking about bringing something that you want to reach out there and have some fun because if you get your hog or you get your game, you know, you might have a couple of days and guys, hey, you know, you've scheduled a vacation. Take advantage. Here's one more activity you can do when you come to No Mercy Hunting. You've got this gorgeous pond. How much is it? Uh, I believe it's 40. 40 bucks. And is that kind of like the range for the whole time? Yeah, for the whole time. Maybe. Beautiful pond. And we've got bass, crappie, Carp, carp, catfish, and I was told they got some some decent sized fish in here. I want to say it's twenty three acres. Twenty three acres. Twenty three acres. I believe so. That's nice. Well, just you know, one more thing. If you come, you're doing a vacation, and you get what you were coming to shoot. Vacation doesn't have to end. So this is just the south end. We are over there in that corner. Gorgeous lake. Now I have separate videos for each of my three hunts, but here are some of the highlights. Check these out.
Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing, not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I I find them it costs you nothing unsubscribe at any time i have saved folks hundreds even thousands of dollars don't take my word read the comments it works it's awesome and it costs nothing if you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. It Check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Not a bad size. Not a bad size pig at all. Um, go ahead. That's a decent size hog. Four. He didn't even get up. That's a little bit. Yeah, the other one that got up and ran away was a little bit bigger, but. That's the problem with hunting in these weeds like this. You just don't, you never can tell how big they really are. So these guys, uh, you've seen them get shot with a rifle and take off? Keep trucking. And keep trucking. He just rolled over. What were you, five yards? Yeah, Maybe. aimed. Well, well, we'll roll him over when we butcher him and we'll see. So that's kind of the little spot here where they were nested down. The one behind him was, yeah, it, it was bigger, um, you know, but it was hard to see, you know, who was who. And, you know, this guy, he presented the perfect shot. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just interesting how, and he was sitting right there and he turned and looked at me and was just staring at me for the longest time. And then he turned his head back and like he was gonna go back to sleep. And that's when I, I fired and it was, you know, it doesn't get any better than that. So yeah, you know, there's always questions about the nine mil. It's been around a long time. You know, I was talking to, to Matt, the guide, and hogs are tough. Um, you know, people shoot them with high power rifles and they run off. So Matt and I were talking. Um, yeah, this is not unusual for hog hunting. And we just got that wall, that hog without so much as a twitch with a nine mil and you've seen them run how far with something like this oh, i've tracked them three four hundred yards yeah was that a decent shot or was it a crappy shot oh it was not a bad shot not a bad shot yeah you know shot placement but the whole purpose of that video was the bullet type i, I put a lot of emphasis on the bullet is it bonded is it going to have jacket separation does it fragment is it mushrooming anyway interesting I really like this round. Uh, you know, I did the test with the cow 
and some ballistic tests and I just I like the nine with the right bullet I think it's very effective and so you know it worked out well to come hog hunting with the nine and it was it was picture perfect okay you know he was maybe five yards or so he was laying he just kind of rolled over and stood up and I shot and he didn't he didn't get up he didn't even flinch basically he just kind of twitched and he rolled over for me that's what I call proof is in the pudding. Now, I actually got all three of these hogs by stocking them in the bush with my guide, Matt. You know, I highly recommend Matt as your guide. And if you do end up using them, nothing beats stocking the hogs in the bush. Be sure and ask for Matt and tell him I sent you. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. It really does help the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time that we're out hunting, we're shooting, we're on the range, everybody's watching us. That makes us ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So be a good ambassador, be a safe and responsible gun owner.